Ladies and gentlemen, Minecraft has once again done it. They have released probably the worst string of updates in the entire history of the game. And that is definitely saying something, seeing as Minecraft Bedrock Edition is known to have some of the worst glitches that Minecraft has ever had. Now, before I show you how to actually fix all of these issues, let me talk to you about the terrible decisions they've been making. Earlier this week, the entirety of Microsoft Azure, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, got like just just went down for some reason which meant that like the entirety of minecraft servers and minecraft account logins because that all goes through microsoft they all just went down you couldn't play minecraft whatsoever on, on servers you couldn't even get logged into your account it was terrible especially for someone like me who, who makes content on this game but let's ignore that all right let's talk about minecraft because minecraft probably did an even bigger oopsie than microsoft did which is honestly impressive hold on let me let me kill this kid and GG's. Okay, so Minecraft decided, you know what, we are gonna update the game, and everyone was like, we really don't need an update, man. Just fix the bugs, it will all be fantastic, and they were like, no, 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 we are gonna fix the bugs by introducing worse bugs. This is a fantastic idea, no one's done this before, we are gonna break the, break the mold with this. You know, they're gonna they're gonna do it. They're gonna be the, the smartest company ever. They're gonna fix the bugs by introducing more bugs. It's fantastic. It was a terrible idea. Who could have seen that coming, bro? Now, for me, the issues with this bug already started before I even downloaded the update, all right? I was streaming, and I personally have my Microsoft, like, store updates off. They don't happen automatically unless I, like, you know, make sure they happen. Because usually with Minecraft Bitterock Edition, I don't want it to update automatically because some stupid like this happens. Which, as a matter of fact, it happened. So I was just casually streaming, right? I was streaming on an older version of Minecraft that was working. And now during my stream, I was just doing regular old Minecraft 1v1s versus my viewers. It was a fantastic stream, all right? But only 15 minutes into the stream, randomly, my game starts lagging. And I, I didn't know what was happening. I'll, I'll I'll put the entire thing on screen so as you see the game just randomly started lagging i was like huh that's weird it, it just started lagging but it, it only showed up on the stream not for me and then after it started lagging uh it, it stopped i was like okay that's weird uh, th that's kind of weird you know we'll let it be we'll let it be oh he's over there why the f did my game just crash Okay, no, never mind. Two seconds later, the game crashes, bro. My entire stream crashes. I'm like, okay, that's weird. That's pretty weird, bro. Why did my game just randomly crash? You know, I think nothing of it. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Uh, the reason why my game crashed is because it forcibly updated me to the newest version. What the hell did that guy just do? So then, when I tried rebooting my game with Flareo Client, you got this very weird situation because my Flareo Client was updating me to, like, like the version that I was playing in before. However, Minecraft was trying to open the newest version while Flareo Client was trying to open an older version and you got this really weird thing where I was just giving all of my viewers epilepsy and it was like everyone just died. I'm pretty sure I killed five of my viewers at that moment because I went down like 10 viewers as soon as it happened. It was terrible. So get, can we get a rip in the comments for those guys that died because uh, they watched my stream? I'm very sorry, all right? I will... I will be contacting their families and sending some flowers their way. I managed to fix the screen glitching and I went on my merry way. That were Loki all the problems that I have experienced with the update. And that is because I'm not even playing in the update. Tell me how I'm playing in an older version of Minecraft and the update still affects me, bro. But you know, there's actually a lot of things to go over that's happened to other people and I've actually made a list um, because it's, it, it's the fact that I have to make a list for all the bugs this update introduced is crazy. First of all, it removed all of your content. With this update, they made it so Minecraft is stored in a different way, which is like really weird. I don't know how that works, but they made it so it gets stored in a different way, which means that everyone's world, texture packs, skins, everything was permanently deleted. If you had a forever world, GG's, bro. It's no longer there. Go f yourself. That's what Minecraft just said. Are we are we serious? This kid's rushing my base. Okay. So, you know, beside the fact that everyone's content was just permanently deleted because Minecraft did a little oopsie, how the f*** can you even f*** it up? That, that's gotta be, like, lawsuit worthy, bro. They just, they just permanently deleted all of the content from their users. The weirdest thing is, it didn't even happen to everyone, it only happened to a select few people, like Officey. I mean, who cares about Officey, man? He kinda deserved it. But, the issues do not stop there. Because not only was all the content deleted, this update was so weird that only a select few people actually had issues whatsoever.
better. I mean, there were certain people who genuinely just like saw their gameplay and like performance improve tenfold with this update, which is the weirdest thing. So it only like affected some people, but the people that it affected could not do full screen. The pink glitch is back, which is one of be Minecraft Bedrock's most infamous glitches. Um, their frame rate basically died to like five FPS, even though they were able to run the game at like 60 consistently beforehand. Another thing for content creators, it just doesn't show up anymore in OBS as a game capture. Basically, OBS has two things. You can either record your entire screen or you can record your game. And everyone likes to use game capture because that way you can't like leak all of your personal info, which I'm personally quite a big fan of, all right? I've never leaked like any personal info, like my face multiple times. Yeah, it's never happened, bro, never happened. But the only thing that would show up with OBS game capture due to this update was the UI. So basically the only thing you would see on my screen right now would be like the little icons in the corner, the chat and my hotbar. How the f*** do you mess that up? Like I'm genuinely, how do you mess that up, bro? This game is so dark. And there's even more things to go over that like happened to other people, which is the crazy part. The game crashed, their UI just caught completely f They already got it started with like the buttons being like five light years away from each other, but now they decided to, okay, this dude's shooting me. I'm not gonna fight that. But now they decided to literally make it so like your pause menu doesn't look like this, but you have like a weird thing. The settings are like tiny. Your skin is gigantic. The Microsoft store is like a button for some reason. I don't get it, bro. That's pretty much all of the issues that I've heard people talk about. Now, granted, there's probably like 50 billion more issues. Um, however, there's actually a fix to this. Now, this fix sadly is only for PC, but I'm pretty sure most of these issues have only been affecting PC players. But there's actually a way to downgrade your game. But before I show you that, I kind of have to win this Bed Wars game. We got a win rate to uphold, all right? We got a win rate to uphold. So let me quickly win the game. GG's. All right, so now here is where the issue lies, all right? We're currently looking at my second monitor, and as you can see, I have this thing called Flareo Launcher. Now, if we open this, there's actually a lot we can do. We can click Launch Game, but if you go to Settings, you can go to Versions, and you can select any of these Minecraft versions. I'll leave the link to download Flareo Client in the description because it's actually very good. Now, me personally, I've been using 1.21.01, .01, and you basically just click this, it will download, it will take like two or three minutes. It's pretty, pretty good, depending Depending on your PC, it might take a little longer. Then you can just click launch game and it's going to launch on my other monitor. Hold on. Let me drag it over here. And now, as you can see, it's going to inject Flareo client. But honestly, you can turn off every feature if you don't want to use a client. I personally only use a few of the things. And now, as you can see, we are in 1.21.01. .01. If we click play, all of our worlds are still here. We still have all of our global resources. Now, doing this won't magically bring your world back. I don't think if they're already deleted but this is a way to like play Minecraft Bedrock Edition until this updates get fixed, all right? Now, as I said, if you don't want to play with like a client I personally only use a few things. I use a time changer, full bright, and like some quality of life things, but I don't have like any of the fancy stuff on screen that you would usually see in clients. You can very much still play vanilla Minecraft uh, with this client on. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, watch my latest video or something. I don't, I don't know, bro. This game f sucks.